All right, guys, it is time for the last replay, the last cast of today's iCast of freaking awesome replays. The challenge has been Peasant's Revolt, and we have seen a shitload of Drilly Boys in the front line. I think it's time we see some Probiuses over here in the left-hand side. In the red, it's Cookie Monster. A monster that loves cookies. Over here in the right-hand side, in the blue, representing my clan, Taste the Bacon, it's Kybercore. Uh, some people wonder why the clan tag isn't Pig Pan, which is the normal clan tag. It's because you can only fit 100 players in each clan. And we've got quite a lot of players, especially on the NA server. EU's getting more active, and EU has more of a hardcore base of dudes. Um, uh, I, I, we did recently actually create the Korean server arm of it, just in case anyone does kind of play on the Korean server and want to get involved. Uh, we want to try and start a, a core small group of players who do practice there, since uh, some of our regulars um, have, uh, you know, are living over there in, in Asia at the moment and playing on the Korean server. But anyways, this, of course, was the uh, Peasants Revolt Challenge. You need to pull at least four workers into each attack. And um, that works pretty naturally for Terran because you've got high damage, low hit points ranged units. And pulling workers to tank damage is a good idea. Uh, not as useful as Protoss against Terran or even as Zerg against Terran. It's a lot more useful as Protoss versus Protoss or as, as like Zerg versus Protoss or something like that. But actually against like Terran units especially, worker pools are like one of the worst things ever. So I'm hoping this was submitted by Kyber and I'm really hoping... Uh, we see some creative and awesome shit. Speaking of creative and awesome shit, guys, make sure you get your replays in for next week's challenge. You've got six days, as per usual, to get that in. Uh, of course, we do always cast Icy Far on Sundays these days. And uh, is that blocking the Nexus? I feel like that pylon is blocking the Nexus, guys. 100% that's blocking the Nexus, right? No, is it? Maybe it can barely... Oh my god. Is it gonna go down? Does it fit? It does fit! Oh my god! Oh my god. That pile I was like, I would never even risk that. I'd be like, that's that that's just too easy to misplace. What? And then cancel it. Oh, it was one place to the left. Wait, what? What? No, it was in the exact same position. What? <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, yet another Drilly Boy hiding in the corner of the base. This this corner of the base, this here is, is designated Drilly Boy Corner from now on, okay, guys? We have seen multiple Drilly Boys just hiding down here, trying to evade their opponent's notice. Oh, oh, the Probius with the Mosius going for the scout gets in. The depot is down and there's like, hey, dickhead, what's up? Uh, second barracks going down there. Cookie Monster, of course, with some beautiful prioritization here, shows that he's mined 350 gas to trick Kyber and then goes for a barracks transition. So mining the gas in advance to trick the opponent while going for a purely mineral-based build. I love it. Cookie Monster, not, uh, he's only, uh, three Marines not building more Marines. What the fuck is that? That's two Adepts <laughs> and nine Probiuses with the Mostiusters. Uh, a whole bunch of angry Wallies who are gonna try and recycle some of this Terran biomass into those little, little fucking cubes and then try and be like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna just, you know, recycle you. Automaton does look a little bit like some sort of post-apocalyptic wasteland, I guess? I don't know, man. It looks a bit like a Dwemer city, to be honest, from fucking Morrowind or Skyrim or something. It's like cogs everywhere. Go the Probiuses with the Mostiusters. They're gonna, oh my god, these fucking Marines are just dead. <laughs> This is actually the sickest pro pull I've ever seen. Oh, one Adept's gonna go down. No, she pulls back Kyber with the big, big Protoss micro. Hot damn. Oh my god. This, oh my god, the wall's down as well. The probes are gonna focus down the depot. Oh my god, everything goes down on the low ground. <laughs> the depot's gonna go down. Cookie Monster's in Dick Town right now. Uh oh. Raise your dongers right now. Kyber Core just running. Is this just it? Is this just... Okay, no, the Drilly Boys. Revenge of the Drilly Boys. They're going to get us around on these probes and take them down real fast. A Hellion and two Marines are almost out, but a lot of SCVs going down. The probes do pull away. Are they going to recall? Oh my god, Kyber's like, nah, nah, I'm not going to get much more. Recalls those probes, leaves one behind. Oh, he's not able to play with his friends. They're like, nah, nah, you're not going to play with us, mate. You're not cool. This fucking poor probe. Oh, Nigel the probe, man. Oh, that's sad. Fucking guys, honestly... If someone wants to, you should you should try to be inclusive. If your friends want to play, 
you know, let them play with you. Don't don't be mean. Speaking of mean, apparently, fucking Kyber's like, you, you didn't bring your friend. You were meant to bring your younger brother, Barry, the fucking douchebag probe. Barry, you're in timeout. Barry's like, no, I hate timeout. Kyber's like, no, you're in timeout, you naughty little fuck. Um, so Barry's stuck in timeout for basically perpetuity. Uh, until a warp prism or a recall comes out, Barry's, Barry's in the naughty corner right there. Fucking trapped between two gateways and a nexus with nothing to do. Ah, he's just got to contemplate leaving his brother to die in the opponent's base. Meanwhile, Drilly Boy Corner still doing quite well here. Cookie Monster's just hiding down there, not going for a scout just yet. We've got Stalkers, Charge, a Robo. Pretty good economy for Kaiba. Remember, Kaiba did lose quite a lot of probes to do all that damage. So it's not game over by any means. Cookie Monster uh, down about nine workers, but does have double mule dropping. Two barracks. Pumping away, Marines, Shields, a Cyclone on the way, and some Spotting Depots going up as well. The Drilly Boy comes down for a Scout and Skis! Wave 2 of gigantic Pro Pool Stalker attack. Was Cookie Monster watching? Put down a bunker. Put down a fucking bunker right now, man. I mean, you've got two Hellions. Okay, bunker's going down. There's Hellions, which will annihilate these probes. Okay, so Kyber opened up with round one of an amazing pro pool, but guys, I feel like round two may get Kyber in trouble. If these Hellions can hit those probes and not go down to the Stalkers, like, this is going to be an absolute ravaging uh, Cookie Monsters. Bunker's not ready. Kyber's already here. The Stalkers starting to focus down the units as best they can. The probes coming in. The Hellions, though. They're, oh, they're not shooting the probes. They're not shooting the probes. A mineral surround. Oh, the Hellions are shooting the Stalkers. The Marines aren't even in the bunker. Cookie Monster, get behind the bunker. No, you got to fucking micro your units, mate. Ah, loses the Cyclone as well. Does end up taking down all those probes. I think it's still technically a better trade for Cookie Monster. But Jesus Christ, that could have been a lot more efficient than that. Um, it's actually 18 kills killed by Cookie Monster, 14 uh, SCVs killed by Kyber. So Kyber's actually down an economy now. That second wave not doing as well as the first one. Uh, this is actually now equalizing as a game here, but we've also got shields done, uh, concussive shells, no stim on the way, and a third CC going out. I feel like Cookie Monster also getting two more barracks is actually going to be going up to four barracks, and, uh, yeah, looking really good. So, this game's going to stabilize for now. Kyber's like, hmm, maybe pro pools aren't that good versus Terran. I mean, I was amazed the first one worked as well as it did. <laughs> I was actually expecting Kyber to do something like pulling probes in a warp prism and building cannons or batteries with the attack, you know, like kind of kind of use them to throw spray tags down and build pylons and cannons and kind of help the battle that way. But these these probes are like, no, uh, the height of honor in Protoss society apparently is to be a zealot and charge the front line with melee lasers when you could instead send a robot with artillery and heavy armor like an immortal into the field. They're like, no, 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 the zealot is the height of Protoss honor. The probes are overthrowing this fucking bullshit Protoss society. They've taken control. They've said Protoss are people too. Protoss, pro, probe lives matter. Robot lives matter. And because of that, to prove that, seems kind of antithetical to the entire point. But Kyber says that means probes should be allowed to fight. Um, this only makes sense in Protoss logic, by the way, guys. Uh, I don't think anyone else... It's like, wait, don't... Doesn't that mean you should send just keep sending the zealots to die? Doesn't, isn't Protoss society already about protecting the probes and kind of sending zealots to their death stupidly but the probes are like yeah yeah yeah. but with our our whole cultural system we're gonna overthrow the fucking cultural norms and we're gonna earn our right to yolo into the front lines of battle and get fucking massacred so uh, only in protoss society do you fight for the right to get yourself killed martyr probes diving into the front line kyber no Oh my god, 10 probes dying before the fight even starts. Thankfully, charge lots are pretty fucking good units. An absolute orgy of death. The marines get surrounded, there's no wall off, no bunkers, and Cookie Monster goes to dick down. <laughs> After holding so many attacks, and was actually in such a good economic position. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Kaiba stays in the game for a full goddamn minute. Too many people are watching the goddamn Florencio files. They're watching his stream. They're like, hmm, that does look fun. Killing my opponent's shit when they're not there. You're stabbing a corpse. It's fucked up, guys. That's gross. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. If... The 
if Cookie Monster had just built a wall, some bunkers, and and kept unit production up, oh man, like a wall off and and oh my god, just sold the bunker. Okay, <clears throat> did anyone watch GSL on Saturday? Uh, or I guess it's Friday if you're in the US. Did you did you guys see how fucking Gumiho lost that game to Parting? Anybody? This is that level of depressing. It's where the Terran unseages the tanks, sells the bunker as the enemy attack comes in. <laughs> in the specific game I'm talking about, yes, I'm spoiling it was two days ago. Catch up. Uh, literally what happened was an observer dodged two scans floating around his base. Parting purposely baited the scans. So he used up all of his scans, didn't have a turret down. And even though Gumiho had done game ending damage with a Marauder pressure, he just had no scans. Three DTs hit his base, two dropped in the main, one ran in the natural, and he just left the game. He was like, really? I just used two scans to kill an observer, which I didn't even kill. And then that, <laughs> and Gumiho was, he was just, he was like, he was kind of laughing, but you know, like when someone's laughing in a way where you think they're about to like murder a child or something, you're like, that is not the sort of laughter you should ever, like, it's like, ha 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 you know like it doesn't touch their eyes at all like the eyes are murder and the face it's like a a weird twisted uh, you know impersonation of what a smile or a laugh should be like i was like yeah protoss <laughs> like whoa uh, it was so sad dude it was so sad for gumi um same thing there thank you very much for sending that replay in kai but beautiful pro pools and working in pvt when i i never thought it would gg well played mate and an awesome game with the Peasants' Revolt.